I've stopped it, Jock. I'm running a bit late. Yeah, I've noticed. But I thought you might like to have a look at this before you went. Well, what do you think? It's nice. Nice? <sighs> nice is what you'd say about one of Betty Eggleton's hats. This cost 200 quid. Well, it's beautiful. What's the celebration? Ah, oh, the celebration comes later. I've got to wow them at the party first. What party? The one at home farm, stupid. The one everyone's rushing around for. Well, you ain't got an invite. Oh, I know, but I didn't seem to put that right. Should you be answering that? Well, I would if I could find it. There. Hello, Chris. Yeah, I I'm running a bit. I'll be straight there. I've got to go. Look, I know technically I don't have an invitation, but, I mean, you can soon solve that. You've got the ear of the management. <laughs> if I had Chris Tate's ear, I'd be looking out for his teeth, cos I'm bound to be going for my throat. Look, all I'm asking is one little favour. <sighs> Look, no, he's been dead upset about charity lately. I, I don't want to bother him. Terry. All right, I'll ask. But I know what the answer will be. So I wouldn't hold your breath waiting. Right. In this room, I want the table against the wall for the buffet and the rest of the furniture moved back. Well, where's Charity? She should be here by now. Well, I expect she's busy, like me. Things to organise, people to see. That's what worries me. Chris, I don't have time for your paranoia this morning. You're just going to give yourself an ulcer if you imagine Charity's off with another man every time she's out of your sight. I'm sure she's seeing someone else. Maybe. Well, if he's at the party, I intend to smoke him out, get rid of him once and for all. Hey, Dave. Look, I've got the uh, disco stuff. Where do you want it? Um, stud office. Could you go and give him a hand next door, please? May I remind you of the real reason for this party? We're supposed to be making contacts, potential clients for the stud. I know that. Glad to hear it. In this mood, I was worried you'd give the guests a third degree about why Charity sent them an invite. Well, I was going to be over here, mate. Oh, better move the computer. Don't want it ruined when Chris's drunken friend starts spilling beer over it. We should have had the party at Oakwell. It would certainly have been a lot classier. Mm. Well, I reckon I made the right choice. I mean, all your posh set, well, they're just full of hot air. I mean, what this place needs is real people spending real money. Thank you for that enlightened analysis, Terry. I'm sure your extensive knowledge of the stud business is what qualifies you for being a dog's body. The way I see it, Chris isn't that bothered about any contacts we can make. He's more worried about charity playing away. Exactly, which could work to our advantage. I only kept my stallions here because of your persuasion. If things didn't work out, I might decide to move on again. That wouldn't be a pity. Not if I took the two of you with me. I might set up a new stud with the right team. And the right contacts. Exactly. So, whilst Chris is busy spying on his tart, we ought to keep busy too. Still no sign of charity. I got cold feet and made a run for it. You don't really think... Oh, it's a joke, Chris. Well, I don't know. Could all seem a bit of an ordeal, all those people. She could be worried about the things they'll say about her. Nonsense. She's got to hide like a rhino. She's really looking forward to this party. Hiya. Hiya. Um, do you want a coffee? Oh, yes, please. I'd better start setting up the catering. I thought Marlon would do that. Oh, he'll be along later. He's just going over to charities to uh, finalise arrangements. Well, you've done well for yourself. Big party, loads of toffs invited, and you're the one on Chris Tate's arm. I bet you could get anything you wanted out of him. Yeah, well, you haven't done so bad out of it either, caring for the rich and famous. We've come a long way for a pair of dingles. We play our cards right. This could be the start of even bigger things. Better to make good contacts at a party like this. Yeah, but are you worried about Uncle Zach getting angry with you for sucking up to the enemy? You know how he feels about the Tates. I'll pay my dues to family loyalty when it suits. It's not going to stop me going places. How about you? Me? What do you hope to achieve from all this? I'm keeping my options open. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Am I making a complete fool of myself? You're not really expecting me to answer that, are you? I wish you would. You're the one person I know who'd give me an honest answer. Why? Because I used to be one of the ladies of the manor here and now I'm down to chopping veg? No, because we had the chance of something special between us and I messed it up. But I still want to see you happy. I think you feel the same way about me. You're your own worst enemy, Chris, but I guess that's true. So am I crazy to think that someone like Charity could be faithful to someone like me? 
Just look at my record in romance, Chris. One disaster after another. So I'm obviously not a good judge. And you're not answering the question. Because I don't know. Nobody does. All I can tell you is that if I thought there was a chance, I'd go for it. I always do, and you've seen where it's got me. Thanks. <laughs> Are you in love with her? Oh, but you know me. I'm not a... I'm not a slushy music, flowers and chocolates sort of a bloke. But I'm only really happy when I'm with her. And when she's not there, I just worry. Sounds like the real thing to me. Anyone who can keep your mind off share prices has to be special. But do you want to spend the rest of your lives together? Sometimes I think I do. But then I remember Dad and Kim. She was the only one that stopped him seeing things straight. We all know how that ended up. And you think charity's the same? No. But maybe I'm not seeing things straight either. Then you've got the same problem as the rest of us. If you trust someone, they can hurt you. If you don't, you're going to lose them anyway. It's your choice, Chris. Chateau Saint Jean Fumé Blanc with that. Oi, 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 oi! Hands off you! It was a broke come on, and I didn't want it to spoil your display. The. What did it taste like? Okay. Just okay. That's my own special recipe. I spent ages on them. In fact, I'm worried there's nothing on your list to compliment the delicate flavour. Don't get out of your pram, Marlon. I've been dealing in fine wines for years. You do cheap nosh for the masses. If anybody should be worried, it's me. Oh, glad I caught you. You two are doing the food and wine for the home farm party. Yeah, we were just uh, finalising the arrangements. Great. You can count me on the team. Uh, we've got all the waiting stuff we need, thanks. I didn't mean in a menial capacity. There'll be lots of potential customers up there. We local businesses should work on them together. Mmm. On your bike. That's not a very nice attitude. But it does make commercial sense. Sorry. My pen, I think. Mmm, I can't make up my mind which is going to set it off best. We've certainly got enough to choose from. Well, Chris likes buying things for me. Oh, lucky you. Hmm. Still, he used to buy stuff like this for Kelly. Not the same. Maybe. But there have been others. Yeah, and they didn't know how to handle him. Oh, and you do. Fasten this for me, will you? <sighs> Seems such a waste. What does? You. Going out with a, a grumpy git like him. You could do a lot better, you know. I don't think Chris would like to hear you talking like that, Scott. Gets very jealous. Well, I'd call it stupid if he thinks that no other bloke is going to find you attractive. Well, he's invested a lot of money in me. Probably reckons that means they can look, but they can't touch. Well, what he doesn't know isn't going to harm him, is it? I've got a party to organise, Scott. Your job is to make sure the transport runs like clockwork. I don't want anything upsetting him today. Yeah, I'm sorry to spring on you, but some of the guests have run with special dietary needs. Oh, no sweat, no sweat. I've done trays of vegetarian, trays of kosher, fat-free, nut-free, gluten-free. And all the salads were low-calorie dressing and marked separate. Well, you seem to have thought of everything. It's all part of the Share Marlon service. Marlon, I thought you were with charity. Oh, I left her back at the cottage. You should be really pleased with her. She's organising everything with military precision. You're the Dingle Regiment, I suppose. Oh, that's <laughs> very funny, Chris. Some people might think so. They'd expect your family to be trying to get her away from me. Oh, no, 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 me, me and Charity, we don't get involved in all that, that feuding thing. We know which side our bread's buttered. Oh, I don't, I don't mean that's why she was with you. I, oh. I told you to stop behaving like this. So who's she seeing now? Hmm? Uh, uh, Scott turned up just as I was leaving, and uh, I think Rodney's going round later. Daniel Thibo was champagne maker of the year. It's 70% uh, Pinot... Uh, in a noir. Shouldn't you answer that? No, it'll just be Chris checking up on me. No worries. <laughs> Perhaps you should put his mind at rest. Well, if I did, he might start taking me for granted. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a dangerous strategy. And maybe I like living dangerously. How about you? I've had my moments. But I just said that Chris is the kind of guy who could turn really nasty if he was... Uh, Jealous. And you don't think I'm worth the risk? Uh, mm. 
You do like living dangerously, don't you? Well, where's Charity? You're supposed to be bringing her with you. Tara asked me to drop the Parkinson's off first. You mean the guests are arriving? No, she wanted to give him a tour of the stud before it all starts. I've got another one booked at half past. She never mentioned it to me. Don't say it wrong. This isn't Tara's party. In future, you take your orders from me or Zoe. Or Charity, if she ever turns up. Sorry about the commotion. Final preparations for the party. I'd like a word, Tara. Uh, oh, perhaps you'd like to show our guests around the stables. Is there a problem? You're not a director anymore, Tara. You're supposed to discuss any new clients with myself or Chris. What? Don't be so sanctimonious, Zoe. You ought to be grateful to me. I'm still the one with the contacts. Which is why the party should have been held at Oakwell. If that's how you feel, maybe you shouldn't be here. Oh, I'd miss all the fun. Home farm parties are always such a hoot. <laughs> you couldn't even get through Kim and Steve's engagement without the police being called. It's because your husband killed Linda Fowler. Ex. Husband and I really can't be responsible for Alex's behaviour. I didn't stop you taking advantage of it. You couldn't wait to get Biff into your bed. I really don't think any Tate is in a position to lecture about morals. Oh, you just love staring trouble, don't you? That's why you came back. Your brother practically begged me to keep my stallions here. Well, you've been paid for them now. So you can stop interfering. Uh, boss, can I have a word? I'm busy right now. I told you about the wrong time. Nonsense. Let me take a minute. I'm here to do you a favour. Really? We all know what parties are like. You're bound to have some guests of a few too many and can't drive home. A charity's already made the transport arrangements, thank you. But what about those who want to stay over? You don't want them throwing up all over your nice rugs, do you? And we've got plenty of spare bedrooms at the B&B. My guests wouldn't be seen dead at your bed and breakfast. I run a very high-class establishment. Terry, please remove this person from my hall. I don't know why you both resent me beating you over the price of my stallions. You should take it as a lesson in business and learn to take my advice in future. Oh, I don't think so. The only smart business decision you ever made was divorcing the right man. That's how you got your money. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. Because in the stud world, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And some of our customers might be put off by seeing the managing director with a prostitute on his arm. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Charity, where have you been? Working. Trying to make this party a success. Which is more than you lot. I can hear you rowing across the stable yard. <laughs> Just a little disagreement over strategy. Well, forget it. Because the guests are going to be arriving soon. I'm going up to get changed. I hope by the time I get down, you lot are ready to start working as a team. to this family, you were still ready to come up here to play Lady of the Manor. You didn't think we'd let you get away with that, did you? Sleeping with the enemy. I didn't realise we were at war. They killed Butch. And the score's been unsettled for too long. So? We had a meeting to decide what has to be done. Family meeting, eh? How come I wasn't invited? You lost the right to that when you started up with Chris Tate. We decided to leave the women out of it. They haven't got the stomach for what's got to be done. We decided. Sounds to me like Kane's calling all the shots now. When did you move over, Zach? 
We agreed. We owe it to Butch. He don't care about Butch. He's, he's never cared about anyone. He's just a little psycho. Don't listen to her, Zach. He's just trying to split us up and get out of what's coming to her. It won't work, Charity. It's payback time. All set? Yes. And if they leave the cars here, then we can valet park them from. When you've got half a dozen guests arriving on the 6.15, well, I'll ring the stage and see if it's on time, and if it is, I'll collect them in the minibus. Good. Now, there's going to be some expensive cars parked here tonight. I'm sure we can handle that. Yes, I'm sure you can, but just park them, Scott. No joyriding. As if. Oh, Marlon, this looks delicious. You've really done them proud. <clears throat> yeah, well, at least this lot might appreciate fine cuisine, not like some of the customers we get. Hey, let's not get snobby. The way the takings have been going, we should be grateful for our regulars. Yeah, this is our chance to build up all new clientele. Now, if anyone compliments the food, give one of these business cards. <sighs> it seems a bit pushy. It's enterprise. I'm not going to miss an opportunity like this. I've printed these up myself. Experts in location catering? Well, well, we had some film extras in from something once. We've got to learn to sell ourselves, Kath. Look, I don't know what you're planning, but you're making a big mistake. Chris has got security on duty. If I shout out, he'll be here in a couple of minutes. we do a lot of damage in a couple of minutes. Reckon it's worth going to jail for, do you? Good question. What do you reckon Butch's life is worth? Obviously not much. I won't be sucking up to his killers. I cared for Butch as much as you did, but he's dead. Nothing is going to bring him back. We're entitled to vengeance. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. What's that supposed to mean? What are you going to do, try and kill him? That wouldn't pay for what he's done to us. I want him to suffer like we have. Not a day goes by when I don't think about what he's done to my lad. And you've given us a chance to make him feel the same way. Seeing as how he's got so fond of you. What are you talking about? Well, he'd see what it would feel like to lose someone you love and know there's nothing you can do about it. Bar open now. We'll be in a minute. Great. I'll have a double scotch. Coming up. Used to be a barman, you know. But it was more fun than working for Chris Tate. Not really. Folk always end up telling you the problems. You didn't look, I haven't got any. I wouldn't count on that. Chris is getting a bit twitchy about charity having an affair, and you are high on his list of suspects. Take a tip, pal. Back off. Follow your own advice, or do you wait till he's not looking? Well, I guess it's easier for me. I don't have my brains and my trousers like you do. I don't reckon that's the problem. You're too loyal to your master's voice. You're like Chris Tate's little poodle. Don't push your luck, pal. Or you'll find that this puddle can bite. Hey, what's going on? Just explaining the bar rules to young Andrew here. I think you've got them straight now. Thank you, car, sir. <laughs> I think I can manage, thanks, Dad. Are you trying to do me out of a job? Valley Park is down to me and Scott. We staff now, you know. Oh, congratulations. But shouldn't you be dealing with the proper guests? I'm staff too, you know. Oh, no, son, you're management. Now give us the keys. <laughs> there. There. Sean, how lovely to see you. But all on your own? What did you expect? Oh, well, I was hoping you and Angie might have settled your differences by now. No, you weren't. You know you put the tin hat on that one permanently. Shame. Colonel Bertram! Oh, you are looking Careful. Well. Tara's out to cause trouble. I'm worried about charity. I mean, what is keeping her? I imagine she's determined to look her loveliest for you. Come on, I've got guests to greet. Hey, they can certainly knock back some booze, this lot. Oh, good to know they appreciate the quality, though, aren't they? Doubt it. I reckon it's because it's free. <laughs> okay, okay. There's a problem with the table, eh? Someone spilled it all over the dining room. You clear it up before Zoe goes spare. But I've got to keep the wine flowing. Couldn't you do it? Oh, sorry. Duty calls. Rodney? Not 
My style, Chloe. Time I started circulating. Great. Orange is yours, please, Terry. Sure you don't want something stronger? Well, no, not when I'm driving. Very commendable. I think I'm going to have a drink, mind. Dodge courage. Chris wouldn't let Carol come to the party. She would have been upset. I'm not surprised. Hey, it's a good measle, this, isn't it? It must have cost a lot of Speculate to accumulate. Looks like they'll get the money back in contracts. We'll call you next week. You can come round and finalise the contract. Thank you. Thank you. I think I've found us another new client. This is a game. Good. Well, you could try and show a bit of enthusiasm. This is what this party's supposed to be about. Yeah, yeah. Great. Zach, you're the head of this family and I respect that, but this is stupid. You can't stand by and watch him kill me in cold blood. It's been arranged. It's for Butch. OK, you want revenge for Butch? Then leave it to me, cos I can do better than any of you. Well, by sleeping with the man who killed him. But we don't have to listen to this. Let's hear what she has to say. Don't go soft on me. Don't let her talk her way out of it. If your braids were in your biceps, you'd see what I talked myself into. I've got the tits in the palm of my hand. Or at least I would have if you hadn't started interfering. Don't listen to her, Zach. She's trying to twist you around her little finger like she does every other bloke. All I'm asking is for the chance to finish what I'd started. Then you can judge me. Trust me, Zach. Can you trust her after what she's done? Right. I'm gonna go and get changed. And then get down there before Chris starts sending out search parties. Cos if he finds you up here, you've blown it. Zack. Go on home, son. What's the problem, Kane? Gotta stop and watch. It's how you get your thrills. You've promised a lot, Charity. And you better deliver. Cos next time I won't hold him back. Looks like Chris has decided Charity's not ready for her first appearance as Lady of the Manor. Well, you've got to hand it to them, though. The party's going to work better than we expected. Oh, the night is young. Plenty of time for things to go wrong. Waitress? Waitress, we need some service here. Oh, I didn't recognise you. Oh, I knew you were upset about being jilted at the altar. I hadn't realised it had brought you down to this. Just grow up, Tara. It's not enough for you, is it, wrecking people's lives? You have to rub their noses in it. Sean, stay out of this. We don't want any trouble. I've had enough of this. Mm, good judge, Cathy. Don't think his rescue's got a lot to do with chivalry. He's obviously desperate to impress any woman right now. Even been sniffing around charity. <laughs> You have really been asking me. Hey, 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 hang on, I've got it. Listen, Sean, she's not worth the aggro. And you're supposed to be a lady. Why don't you start behaving like one? You can't talk to her like that. Oh, I can discuss it outside with you if you like. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. I told you what this party would be like. We don't need to sink to their level. <clears throat> Thank you, Terry. I'll part the service, boss, sir. I think you'd better see if Cathy's all right, mind. Yeah. <coughs> uh, cabaret's over. Get back to your party now, folks. Where are you going? Going home. You can't! Watch me. I know Tara was out of order. But it won't stop you doing business with her when it suits. You never change, do you, Chris? I can't believe I fell for all that looking out for each other for old time's sake rubbish. If you really cared, you'd have stood up for me like Sean did instead of blaming him. Oh, come on. Tara's right. He's out to impress any woman since she dumped him. <sighs> You really don't understand anything about love, do you? As far as you're concerned, it's all about ownership. Is that why you're worried about charity, in case she's slipping away? Well, don't come to me for advice. I loved you once, now I just want you out of my life. Don't say that. I really care about you. Oh, you're wasting your breath. But it's true. I only put money into Marlon's stupid restaurant because of you. What? Maybe it would be best if you went home now. You took money from him? I always knew it was a risky investment. I did it for you so you wouldn't get dragged down if the restaurant went wrong. That was what you said to me. We agreed Cathy shouldn't know. So I've been in partnership with him all this time and you two decided it wasn't worth mentioning? It was more of a loan, really. Good. Then you can pay it back or find yourself another partner. 
Thanks a lot, Chris. This is shaping up to be a perfect evening. Oi! You may pull the gun off my old man's eyes, but you won't find it half so easy with me. I'm not watching you. Enjoy the party. You can do with a drink. It's not the answer. Well, I'm here to drive you home, and it might just calm you down a bit. I doubt it. I might feel better if I did it. Oh, and you tried that, and you came back like the proverbial bad penny. Kathy had the right idea. She walked away from it. It's not easy. Every time I see Tara's smug smile, it reminds me of what she's done to us. Yeah, but it's over. You can't go living in the past fighting lost battles. It's time to move on. Yeah, I guess you're right. Scotch for the lad, please, Terry. Coming up. Maybe I should go after Kathy. You know, just to see if she's okay. Not too upset. But the neighbourly thing to do. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try and cheer her up. See you later, Dad. Okay. What about his drink? No, you drink it, Terry. I think he might be ready to move on. Excuse me. Charity, I've been really worried about you. Just wanted to make sure I look my best for you. So we thought you might have got cold feet. You know, our first public appearance and that. I'm actually looking forward to it. Me too. I'd be really proud to be seen with you. Well, then we're all happy then. Oh, hang on, wait for the book. Oh, I'm sorry, but I've got to ask you. Are you seeing someone else? You won't believe me if I say no. I want to. Listen to me, Chris. I'm really grateful you've trusted me to organise this party. It's given me a chance to prove that I'm, well, I'm worth more than them village gossips think. I don't care about them. Yeah, well, I do. So, just trust me that little bit further and, well, we'll give them a night they'll never forget. Show Matt's done, eh? Hey, you're on. Come on. <laughs> Shouldn't you be parking cars? All sorted. In fact, I'm off duty until this lot when I go in. Well, you're not. You ought to be circulating. Colonel Bartram was particularly anxious to meet you. Oh, is he that boring git with a stutter? He's a very useful contact. Now go and talk to him. Yes, boss. Might see you later. See ya. You'll be busy later. Oh, come on, lighten up, Chris. She's got to let off steam sometime. In fact, I'm doing you a favour. I mean, you can't do much dancing and... to dance, at least I can drink how I like. Psst. See that bloke over there? He's been acting a bit dodgy. Now, I don't want to alarm the guests, so maybe you and your mate should uh, escort him off the premises. Drink, Mr. Tate? Uh, no, no, thank you. But well, I wouldn't mind a word. I thought you and Scott were an item these days. Well, you seem to be getting on pretty well with Charity. Charity wouldn't do that to me. She's a mate. You didn't see them dancing. Oh, come on, Mr Tate. It's a party. You know, dancing, having a laugh. That's what people do at our age. Maybe you should just get out. And maybe you're a bit naive. You see, Scott probably thinks he's got a score to settle with me. He was always jealous of my friendship with his sister. Kelly? 
You see, they were close, you know? What do you mean? Ask him about it. Cheers. All right. What did he want? Grilling me about you and Charity. He's just paranoid about her. Mind you, he's got good reason. She's told me she's seen someone else. You, you don't think he's made it, Of course not. I think he wants to tell me about Kelly, though. Zoe, we should be out there with our guests. I think you've done more harm than good with them so far. I don't blame Kathy for walking out. I wish I could. That was Tara's fault. We knew she'd behave like that. She's trying to prove it would be better at Oakwell. What's your excuse? What do you mean? You've been behaving like a spoiled kid all night. You gave Charity this party to organise. She has done a really good job. But instead of thanking her, you spent all your time spying on her. Accusing her of having affairs with every man she talks to. It's in your head, Chris. But if you keep treating her like this, you are going to drive her away. I guess you're right. So do something about it. Go out there and apologize. Tell her you're not going to spy on her anymore. You're not going to have time because you're going to spend the rest of this evening trying to make this party and the company a success. Well, you've changed your tune. Time was you were trying to get me to throw her out. I realised I couldn't face you sulking about what might have been. And this way, if you lose her, you'll know you had no one to blame but yourself. Got me. Hi, Charity. Great party. Thanks. Just going to replenish Terry's surprise. I need to talk to you. Fine. No, not here. It's, uh, it's private. I don't want anyone snooping on us. Especially not Chris. Sounds intriguing. Look, they're going to be letting the fireworks off at ten. Everyone will be busy watching that. Gives a chance to be alone. So I'll meet you out on the veranda. It's a date. Rodney, don't mention this to anyone. This party just gets better and better. You certainly look very pleased with yourself. I thought you were miffed you couldn't hold it at Oakwell. Oh, on reflection, I've decided that Home Farm was the perfect choice. It's so entertaining, and they're going to have a firework display later. Big deal. I grew up at a bonfire night years back. Oh, I wouldn't miss this one for the world. I am certain they're going to go off with a really big bang. I've just got to go and give Chris a bit of good news. Well, our bosses all seem happy, so I guess that means we're off duty. Why don't we blow this party and find something more interesting to do? What did you have in mind? Well, my flat's only a couple of minutes walk. A little music, some wine. We've got all that here. Yep. Company's better at my flat. Much more exclusive. I suppose I've got to admire your cheek. I've been taken in by all that charm before, and I soon found out you're a shallow, vain, insincere little cheat. But you like us, really? <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> Come on. So just give me a call in time and I'll fix you an appointment. Yeah, that would be great. Wonderful. I was just talking to him about the stud. Yes, I know. And I'm really grateful for everything you're doing. No buts? No, just an apology. What's brought this on? Well, Zoe gave me a good dressing down and I guess I deserved it. I've been stupidly jealous following you around everywhere. You must really get on your nerves. Well, it's nice to know you care, Chris, but I do wish you'd give me a bit more breathing space sometimes. From now on, I'm a reformed character. You enjoy your party. I'll see you later. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I have spent so long trying to live it down, I didn't really want to bring it all up again. You should have known I'd find out from someone. Oh, yeah, they love their gossip in this village, don't they? It wasn't like they say, that. No. But they made out as if we did something terrible, unnatural. But we didn't, you know. We, we weren't even blood relatives. It was just her dad and my mum. They both came out of unhappy marriages and decided to give it a go. Biggest mistake they ever made, though, but... Yeah, that they weren't very happy. Well, they were always fighting. Me and Kelly were stuck in the middle most of the time, and we only had each other to turn to. I suppose you just think that's an excuse, though. I don't know. 
trying to understand. We should have known we didn't really have a future. The village gossips made sure of that. In the end, Kelly tried to kill herself. And I went to the hospital thinking that if she died, then it would all be my fault. It must have been awful for you. Well, if we did do something wrong, then they made us pay for it. So do you still see her? No, no. She uh, got away from it all, made a fresh start. Best thing, if you ask me. They're not going to let me forget it round here. Well, I thought you'd be past caring what they think. Mm. Well, I was. I thought it meant losing you. That's not going to happen. Hey. Charity's going to be busy with the party all evening, which means we could have the cottage all to ourselves for mm. a few hours. Well, we could if it wasn't for me car park and a new waitressing. Oh, forget the jobs. This is more important. Thank you. Really look forward to that. Chris, I've been trying to get you on your own for ages. I really wanted to apologise. It's not like you. Well, I know. I've upset a few people. I didn't mean to. I guess I should think before I speak a bit more often. <laughs> I was hoping you'd understand, because you're sometimes a bit tactless yourself. <laughs> so they tell me. Oh, I'll forgive him. Well, as we've all got to work together, it's probably best forgotten. Oh, thank you. I know we've had our differences, but I'd like to believe that deep down we could still be friends. Is all this leading somewhere? Actually, it is. I've got some information. You're not going to like it. But you have got a right to know. I imagine it's going to cost me. And uh, not in money. It's my unfortunate duty to tell you that you've been right about Charity. She is being unfaithful to you, and it's probably been going on for some time. I overheard her fixing a secret rendezvous. She was very careful to make sure that you wouldn't be around. Who is he? Rodney Blackstock. Well, you have to admire her taste. He's rather charming. From what I've heard, he's always been a ladies' man. Well, I'll kill him. Well, <laughs> probably not a good idea. I gather that the penalties are quite harsh. Crime of passion isn't an acceptable plea in a British court. But if I were you, I'd throw the pair of them out. Are you telling me the truth? Why should I lie? But if you don't believe me, they're meeting on the veranda at ten. You can see for yourself. I'll probably catch them at it. Well, this party's turning out rather well. There it is. I've just sold two cases of Burgundy to that chap from the Emirates. Ooh, look at you. It's been a disaster for me. Yes, I heard about Kelly. I can't afford to pay Chris's money back. I can't afford to lose Kathy as a partner. Either way, either way, I'm finished. And to cap it all, I've got a whole party to cater for, and I'm going to one waitress. Yeah, make that no waitresses. I just saw Scott and Chloe heading off into the sunset. They make a lovely couple. <laughs> Beam me up. I'm on the wrong planet. I don't believe it. You just don't want to admit that I was right and you were wrong. No. You know how Tara loves to stir. She's probably just winding you up. It'd be typical of her. It all fits. Suspected him for a while. You suspected a lot of people. They've been spending enough time together. Fixing the wine list for the party. They're just an excuse to throw me off the scent. Why would she risk all she's got with you for a wine salesman? Oh, like Tara said, he's got a lot of charm. Oh. Blame him more than her. I mean, think of the life she led before she met me. Wouldn't take much to turn her head. I still don't believe it. Mm. We will find out soon enough. What are you doing? Gonna put an end to this once and for all. <laughs> Give us a drink. Tell me life's in ruins. Surely you can find another way to from somewhere. At this time of night, most of them have already turned me down. Where my finances are going, I probably couldn't afford to pay them anyway. What about one of the family? Yeah, well, strangely, not really that welcome up here. I'll end up stealing the silver and I get the blame. Hey, 
just at a brainwave. Could do us both a favour. Well, come on, then, hurry up. Don't keep us in suspense. Hey, hey, hey. Watch and learn. Hello, Carol. Hi, yeah, uh, great news. Yeah, it took a bit of hard work, like, but, um, well, I managed to get you into the party. Yeah. Well, no, you can come down straight away. No, 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 no. You don't have to get changed again. Uh, might be better if uh, you had some old clothes on, because uh, you might have to do a bit of waitressing later on. Carol. Carol. Chung up. Looks like you better get your penny on then, Tell. Well, I'd love to, but, uh, well, I said I'd help out with fireworks soon. Oh, no, I promise I'd look after the bar while he's gone. Guys and gals, that's it for a while. Your DJ is taking a well and break now, but uh, the entertainment doesn't stop here at Tom Farm. The generous Tates have laid on a full scale firework display just for you. Yeah, it'll be starting in a few minutes, so if you'd like to make your way through to the front of the house, you won't miss any of the fun. <laughs> Well, that should be starting any minute now. I've just been up on the hill checking. Hey, you've done us proud. Must have cost a small fortune. I got a discount for an old friend. Always willing to do me a favour, as long as I don't meet his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Chris should be here by now. I'll go find him. Charity? You going somewhere? Yeah, I've got to meet someone. Yes, I know. The thing is, Chris does too, so you see, your secret's out. Shouldn't Chris be here to cut a ribbon or something? Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know where he's got to. I mean, he usually likes to check he's getting his money's worth. Oh, perhaps he's found something more exciting to watch. I wasn't expecting to find you there. I'll bet you weren't. It really saddens me that it had to be you. I thought we were going to be good friends. Well, I hope we still are. <sighs> After what you've done. I really don't know what you're talking about. Well, I've got to admit, I admire your nerve at trying to bluff your way out of it, but you're wasting your time. I know what you've been up to. What am I supposed to have done? Uh, overcharge you on the wine or something? There really is no point in lying. Tara, she heard you. Tara? Well, whatever she said, she's lying. Are you denying you're meeting Charity here? Ah. <laughs> yes, uh, we arranged to meet. But... But nothing. No one crosses me and gets away with it. Tara heard you fixing to meet Rodney. Of course, you went straight to Chris. I bet she really enjoyed telling him. Vicious cow. I tried to tell him that she was just stirring, but he wouldn't listen. 
I guess he thought it confirmed what he'd always suspected. Yeah, well, it wasn't like that. Well, you don't have to explain. Chris is the one that's paranoid about you, not me. Yeah, I'm getting fed up with all this jealousy. Getting people to spy on me. But tonight he said he was sorry, said he was going to change. Yes, I know. I told him to. Oh, well, then you probably think I'm stupid, cos I believed him. Or at least I believed he'd try. And I was grateful to him for letting me organise the party. I wanted to do something to say thank you. Oh, how touching. I thought Rodney could get a bottle of that special malt I know he likes and I could give it to him as a surprise. Well, I think Rodney will be the one getting the surprise. Well, then I better get out there and try and explain. No, I wouldn't do that if I were you. My brother can be quite vicious when he's been crossed. All the more reason to sort it out. Rodney's done nothing wrong. Well, I imagine he'll work that out. Eventually. Right now, they're probably like a pair of ratting stacks. It's not funny, Zoe. Well, I think it is. Chris has spent months accusing you of having an affair with any man you so much as speak to. It's never crossed his mind that the real culprits... right under his nose. Doesn't it make you feel guilty? He's your brother. You don't know how he's treated me all these years. He's lied, he's bullied, he's cheated, and all the time I'm the one who has to pick up the pieces. Good old dependable Zoe, she'll sort it out. Oh, so that's why you made a play for me, is it? Just to get back at him? No, of course not. It was just an added bonus. You know how much I want you. I have told you enough times. So what are we going to do about Chris? Nothing. Stop worrying. Whatever happens, I can look after you better than he ever has. We can do whatever you want. We could live abroad or travel around the world. All you have to do is say. Let's forget about Chris. Start concentrating on us. <laughs>